Welcome to English Listening and Vocabulary. Section 2. You'll hear an HR representative of Earn and Learn giving some information about her company. First, you have some time to look at questions 11 to 16. Now listen carefully and answer questions 11 to 16. Welcome to all of you. Can everybody see and hear me? Good. I'm Sarah Connor, an HR representative of Earn and Learn. I have been asked today to talk to you about our company. So, for those of you who don't know very much about the company, let me start by giving you some basic information about it. Earn and Learn started nearly 20 years ago. It is not a charity but a for-profit company that enables promising entrepreneurs to make money while travelling. During the past 10 years, it has grown rapidly and has gained great influence in most countries of the world. We have a partnership with the school and take a large number of recent graduates from the business school. So, if you are a recent graduate, I'd say you can consider applying to our company. Before your application, you might be curious about what sort of places you could go to. There are four main locations, but you also have the freedom to submit a different location, and if they can make the necessary arrangements, you can go. The first country Earn and Learn established locations was the US, where you may choose from multiple locations, as long as you can commit to their more rigid schedule of August to December. Also, you could do the Australia internship. That one is really cool. You work at a wildlife shelter and learn about the business practices of non-profit organisations. You do have to be willing to commit eight months for that one, though. Perhaps that's a long time to be so far away, but I would say it is really an amazing opportunity. I don't know whether some of you are in decent physical shape. If so, the South Africa internship is another exciting one. You learn a lot about sustainable farming, but you would be doing some of the manual labour involved in maintaining a farm. Indeed, it's hard work, but I think you would definitely be able to do it. It may be wise to wait until after their summer is over so it's not so terribly hot. In addition, there is a most recently established location in India. This one gives you more of a study abroad feel, given that they arrange a host family for you to stay with. In the other locations, you live in an apartment with other interns, so this is definitely a unique experience. Before you hear the rest of the talk, you have some time to look at questions 17 to 20. Now listen and answer questions 17 to 20. Regardless of where you go, at the end of the programme you get a global travelling certificate, as long as you can explain your experience. You can provide a written log of what you did. I recommend writing journal or blog entries about what you do every day, or a weekly summary of each day. Of course, you don't have to write up a formal report or anything like that, and you need to apply for it once you have returned. Some students may want to know whether this is a paid internship. Actually, you have to pay for the flight there yourself. But you have the opportunity to create your own small business, which could earn you money if it's successful. So basically, you pay for it all up front, but when you're there, you can find ways to make money. That is to say, you pay for two-thirds of the cost up front as a deposit and then give the final instalment one month prior to your return. Finally, I have to remind you that you need a health check before you go 
to make sure you're not going to spread any communicable diseases. In addition, before you go, you don't have to attend any meetings or workshops. You'll meet everyone you'll be working with once you get there. OK. a y Well, that's all I've time for today. Thanks for listening, and I'm happy to take any questions if you have them. That is the end of section two. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Subscribe to the channel for more videos. Support us by clicking on the like button and leaving your comments here. Thank you.